Well, one of the standout moments for me at the Grammy Awards, uh, well, not the actual awards themselves, uh, but this, Madonna looking like she got the wrong date for Halloween. Well, now she's taken to Instagram. Misogynistic and insensitive after making comments about the Queen of Pop on his talk TV show, Pierce Morgan Uncensored. She's too old, she shouldn't be doing this shtick, it's all over, I'll be debating that. Piers Morgan is himself in another scandal over statements he made, this time when he slammed the Queen of Pop Madonna. The controversial talk show presenter has many detractors, but one of the most bizarre is his continuing rivalry with Madonna. In the most recent development, the outspoken host attacked her appearance at the just-finished Grammy Awards, comparing her attire to a Halloween costume. Piers, refusing to back down, then tweeted, Every time I've met Madonna, she was a rude little madam. She probably speaks as fondly about me. In the past, the eminent British media personality remarked on his talk TV show that Madonna, 64, is a hot mess and that she should be put out to pasture, criticizing the fact that she still attempts to be a sex kitten despite being over 60 years old. So, has Madonna responded to Piers? And if so, what did she say? Settle back, relax, and grab a cup of coffee? We're going to tell you everything. Piers Morgan had previously called the iconic singer pathetic, embarrassing, claimed she doesn't know how to age gracefully, and claimed she was an inconvenience in my life before this recent public feud. He slammed Madonna's cringe dominatrix-style DMAS attire last year, claiming she's that cruel with money her purse has to be opened with chainsaws. The grudge dates back decades, and it all started with Piers throwing a bread roll at the musical sensation. Their feud began in the 1990s, but it reached a boiling point in 2001 when both attended celebrity chef Marco Pierre White's 40th birthday celebration. According to Piers, the late comic Bernard Manning's routine offended obnoxious Madonna, who was there with then-husband Guy Ritchie. As is customary, he launched a bread roll at her. Madonna is pretty awful. She never forgave me for throwing a bread roll at her at Marco Pierre White's birthday, Piers explained in a past interview. She was just being really obnoxious, not just to me, but generally. There was only 40 of us at this dinner party, and she got annoyed because Bernard Manning started being offensive, and that wooed her up. Piers elaborates. He pressed on, saying she was with Guy Ritchie at the time, and he'd been laughing his head off. I just picked up a bread roll and chucked it at her. Pierce suggested Madonna was attention hungry and boldly asserted her 15 minutes of superstardom has probably passed its course. Madonna has never directly addressed any of Pierce's charges or retaliated against the CNN host who barred her from appearing on his show, but she has made subtle remarks about her detractors. Pierce Morgan referred to the Queen of Pop as an annoyance in my life for 20 years shortly before taking over as host of Pierce Morgan tonight in January 2011. He insisted that the only way she could be allowed on was if she apologized to him live on CNN, but he remained tight-lipped about the nature of his rage. There is a story here. There's no way you would pick Madonna out of nowhere, he told Access Hollywood. Pierce continued when asked what she had done to him specifically, something happened with Madonna and a few things happened between Madonna and me. There have been a few occurrences. She is aware, Pierce stated the pair had never really seen eye to eye, citing the bread roll and an incident between a photographer and a bodyguard at the Cannes Film Festival. He also mentioned an event involving a pub managed by his brother Rupert and owned by Madonna's ex-husband Guy Ritchie. But wait, there's more. Pierce believes he was sabotaged by Madonna's staff. He elaborated, you know the worst thing Madonna did to me. Madonna's publicist once said to me, listen to me, Madonna is not pregnant, when I was running a newspaper. And I said, are you sure? She said, listen to me, Pierce. Madonna is not pregnant. The next day, they announced the news on a rival newspaper's website. There's a series of crimes. In December 2016, Pierce took strong exception to Madonna's carpool karaoke episode with James Corden on The Late Late Show. He cut you off. He cut me off in a big way. Let's drive up next to the bus. I want to give him what's what. Well, I think he... He's gone. You're a I'm not the After watching a video of her twerking and learning she once kissed Michael Jackson, Pierce stated, I loved Madonna when she acted her age. You can't be 58 and prancing about. I want her to just put it away. My mother just texted me, saying do not show that clip of Madonna in the car, and she speaks for Middle England. Then, in May 2019, Pierce called the singer grotesquely disgusting for wearing a burqa in public. He dubbed the singer shameless and an attention seeker for wearing all black from head to toe at New York's JFK airport, accusing her of mocking Muslims with her attire. She knew exactly what she was doing because it's the same thing she's been doing for 40 years, blatant attention seeking, and enraged Pierce wrote in his mail online column. Only this time, when I stopped laughing at the headlines, I suddenly realized that her latest publicity-grabbing move wasn't actually very funny at all. It was actually grotesquely offensive. Although he clearly admires the material girl singer, he dubbed himself an a list star just because he has more Twitter followers than she does. 
One critic wrote in August 2020, I never followed you, Pierce. But there's a difference between thinking it's over and it's under control, realizing the country needs to get going or go bust. By the way, are you in a list sell it? Pierce proudly came to the following conclusion. Well, I have three times as many followers as at Madonna. So, Pierce went on a rant about Madonna on Good Morning Britain the next month after she announced she would direct her own biography, concentrating on her songs and co-written with Academy Award winner Diablo Cody. Pierce reignited his battle with Madge, calling her pathetic and embarrassing and even mocking her relationship with Alamalek Williams. He said, when she did Holiday, she was the best pop star in the world. No question, now it's just pathetic watching Madonna now. Pathetic, everybody finds her pathetic and now we're having a biopic. Not one to give up, Piers went on to say, she's 62 now going on 20. The act doesn't work, it's embarrassing, she doesn't know how to age gracefully. She's trying to act the age of her boyfriends. I think the latest one's about, what is he, 18? They're always older than her kids, I know that. Piers attacked Madonna earlier this year after she announced her Celebration Globe tour, calling her a hot mess. Pierce took to Twitter and posted, I think Madonna's become the biggest cringe-making fiasco in world entertainment. On his talk TV show, he also suggested Madonna should be put out to pasture and chastised her for trying to be a sex kitten when you're in your 1960s. Pierce then displayed a series of X-rated photos Madonna had published on social media, including one of her lying beneath a bed with her bare rear exposed. The talk show host claimed the singer had reached rock bottom and proposed she does her arena gigs while rocking back and forth in a rocking chair. Piers was chastised for making misogynistic and unnecessarily nasty comments, with some accusing him of being tragic and obsessed. Piers is now facing major criticism for his comments regarding Madonna's presence at the previous week's Grammy Awards. At the annual awards ceremony in Los Angeles, the Material Girl singer astonished everyone with her youthful appearance as her lips appeared plumped and pouty and her skin was smooth and wrinkle-free. In usual brazen fashion, Piers posted a close-up photo of Madonna and sarcastically questioned his followers. I thought Halloween was in October. Then, on his talk TV show, he got into an argument with comic James Barr, saying, the fact is she's done stuff to her face surgically, which means when she goes out now, we all shriek in horror. She was incredibly rude every time I met her, but I don't hold that against her, the self-proclaimed number one fan of Cristiano Ronaldo clarified. When James inquired whether anyone was debating Pierre's appearance, the host responded, I literally get fat shamed all the time even though as you can see, I'm basically emaciated. Piers faced backlash from social media users who thought his comment was unnecessary and Madonna responded indirectly. As she hit back at her detractors, the music sensation, who presented an award, tweeted a series of films and photos of herself partying with Sam Smith, Kim Petras, Cardi B, and other stars. She wrote in a lengthy statement, Instead of focusing on what I said in my speech which was about giving thanks for the fearlessness of artists like Sam and Kim, many people chose to only talk about close-up photos of me taken with a long lens camera by a press photographer that would distort anyone's face. Once again, I am caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in, the singer wrote. The singer also indirectly responded to peers on Twitter, writing, The world is threatened by my power and my stamina, my intelligence and my will to survive. But they will never break me, this is all the test. Piers then proceeded to share the star's tweet, adding a stream of sobbing with laughter emojis. Many fans, though, were unimpressed. What's your problem? One tweeted, while another suggested, live and let live, Piers. Just leave her alone, posted somebody else. This is getting unhealthy now, Piers. There's a trend, another dived in. Another added, Madonna can do whatever she likes to her body. It's hers, you might not like it, but keep your opinion nice. Then one came with a list of long achievements, dearest Piers. At Madonna has sold 300 million albums, released 92 singles, sold 100 million singles, sold out 11 world tours, grossed nearly $2 billion in tour revenue, broken 26 world records, won over 300 awards including Grammys and Golden Globes. Just saying, Piers' beef with Madonna appears to be deeply entrenched. Do you think Piers is being petty and picky in your opinion? Tell us in the comments section below. That's all for now, till next time, bye!